The breakthrough prize in life sciences has been initiated by a couple famous people. You may have heard of them. Sergey Brin of Google, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook, as well as both of their wives. And then you have uh, some other Silicon Valley billionaires who are <laughs> throwing their name in the ring. But what this does is basically honors researchers uh, for their work in science, uh, medical, and technolo technology fields mm -hmm. um, every year. Now, the first year, in 2013, it's the first time they did it, they're awarding it to 11 scientists to kind of play catch-up uh, over the years. That and they then it's going to be what, done it. five after that for 10 years, giving each one $3 million? Oh, I don't know if there's any 10-year oh, uh, thing. A... It's just this is what they've started now. Fantastic. Yeah, so every researcher who wins gets $3 million, and they can do with it what they'd like. And researchers can also win multiple times. So you can come back year after year, use your keep money, doing breakthroughs in science. Money, reinvest it, and boom, win again. And yeah. that's, that's awesome. Okay, so the first person who was awarded the award, or, or number one on the list of 11, is Cornelia I. Bargman for the genetics of neural circuits and behavior and synaptic guidepost molecules. Then you have David Botstein for linkage mapping of Mendelian disease in humans using DNA <laughs> polymorphisms. Lewis C. Cantley for the discovery of PI3 kinase and its role in cancer metabolism. I think that's kinase, but I have no idea. Correct us in the comments below yes, if please. you guys are, are more familiar. Not Hans Clever for describing the role of WNT signaling in tissue stem cells and cancer. Tishia DeLang for research on telomeres illuminating how they protect chromosome ends and their role in genome instability in cancer. So again, another cancer researcher. Yeah, it's... Uh, They're pretty much all This cancer. one's medically driven pretty mm. much this mm. year. So mm. it'll be fascinating to see, you know, who... How it, how it unfolds in the following years. But continuing with the list, we have Napoleon Ferreira for discoveries in the mechanisms of angiogenesis that led to therapies for cancer and eye disease. Eric S. Lander for the discovery of general principles for identifying human disease genes and enabling their application to medicine through the creation and analysis of genetic, physical, and sequence maps of the human genome. Charles L. Sawyers for cancer genes and targeted therapy. Robert A. Weinberg for characterization of human cancer genes. Shinya Yamanaka for induced pluripotent stem cells. And Bert Vogelstein for cancer genomics and tumor suppressor genes. So forgive us for our horrible pronunciation yeah, of no, a lot of those diseases or, or research topics and or names. these names. Yeah. Yes, but I mean, the overall feeling we just want to get across is is thank you for dedicating your lives to uh, solving these incredibly difficult problems. And good on Zuckerberg and Brin and, and, and their cohorts in this effort to, to do the right thing and, and kind of follow Bill and Melinda Gates and Warren Buffett's effort to like start spending that money because you can't take it with you when you're dead. Yeah, and you know, we've seen a lot of the winners be from, uh, you know, stem from human stem cells, mm -hmm. right? And the Human Genome Project. So these are really, these 11, uh, a lot of them are going to go down in history as the founding fathers of this type of science. So this is brilliant. Awesome job to everyone involved, the investors the, and, and the award recipients. Thank you.